Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeam here with another competitive Pokemon Sun and Moon moveset video guide how to use Crabominable. Now, if you guys actually missed any of the previous moveset videos or maybe I did your favorite Pokemon, I plan on doing every single Pokemon. I want to stress that, guys. I plan on doing every single Pokemon. There's a playlist down below in the description. You can go ahead and check that out. I also encourage you to check out the showcases on my channel in another playlist uh, where I actually use these Pokemon in battle. But the reason it's taking me a while to get through all the Pokemon is I don't want to just theory mon and what theory mining is it's basically theorying that this pokemon can do well because it has this coverage this coverage and this coverage no what i've been doing is actually testing all these pokemon on showdown making movesets making sure they are viable making sure they work and that's why it's taking me you know I'm doing it day one step at a time. I'm doing it one day at a time. That's why today you have Carbonable. Tomorrow you have another Pokemon. Next day you have another Pokemon. But of course, if you guys do enjoy the series and uh, of course do enjoy the video, you don't have to leave a like now, but I appreciate that at the end of the video. Also, subscribing does help me out. But in any case, Crabonable is fighting an ice type that is excellent excellent offensive coverage fighting couples well with ice offensively um, It pretty much hits a lot of Pokemon outside of uh, Let's say um, maybe like Jellicent for example and uh, a Pokemon like that you have secondary moves such as Earthquake such as Stone Edge to deal with so Carbonado has very 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 solid solid typing has a few things going for it very solid offensive typing um, two very solid abilities being Hyper Cutter and Iron Fist a Hyper Cutter of course blocking Intimidate and Iron Fist boosting some of its moves um, very solid HP well, decent HP, base 97, a great attack stat at 132, and low speed. You might be thinking, well, why is low speed good on this mon? Don't you want to be fast to be able to get off your attacks? You're correct normally, however, this Pokemon can thrive under Trick Room. Of course, Trick Room does reverse the speeds, and this is a Pokemon that is faster under Trick Room. Now, uh, the first set we have here is the Trick Room Life Orb Abuser. I like to run Iron Fist on this move a set because it does boost Ice Hammer. It does boost Ice Hammer, by the way. There was some confusion that people said, no, it doesn't boost Ice Hammer. Yes, it does. Check Cerebi.net. Um, and it also boosts Power Up Punch on this set. Now, um, Ice Hammer is pretty much the Ice version of Hammer On, which lowers your speed, which is actually very solid under Trick Room because you get even slower. And what that allows you to do is still outspeed even other Pokemon that would normally outspeed you. Let's say Mega Sableye. If you go for Ice Hammer, you'll be uh, slow. You should be slower than Mega Sableye, or maybe you might need two Ice Hammers. But um, Ice Hammer allows you to be as slow as possible. Close Combat is your main fighting stab, but it's hard as hell. Uh, outside of that, it doesn't really have much other fighting stab you will use. I guess Brick Break, but Brick Break is super weak. And uh, Sewer Power is the other option, but I would not run Sewer Power on a Life Orb Abuser, because why would you want to lower your attack stats, especially when you're using Power Up Punch to boost? But the Life Orb Abuser Crabominable does use Power Up Punch. This allows you to boost your attack to plus one, making your Earthquake that much stronger. Earthquake previously hit Pokemon like Age Slash, which was just banned, but it also allows you to hit fire types like Arcanine, which gets off Intimidate, um, as well as um, Toxapex, which is a key one. I just want to show you guys a couple calcs of um, Crabominable uh, versus Toxapex. So we're adamant, let's make it Life Orb, let's make it Iron Fist, um, because I believe showing calcs is important. So let's get off this. I don't know why my defense is raised, but uh, let's show the most bulky Toxapex, for example. So let's show Bold. So this would be Bold Toxapex, or Relax, whatever you wanna do. Um, this is Life Orb Earthquake. It does 60, uh, 61 to 72% to uh, physically defensive, um, physically defensive talk specs, which is pretty solid, right? But power up punch does 10 to 12 percent. Now, power up punch obviously boosted by Iron Fist and also gives you a plus one attack stat, which means that your earthquake does 91 to 107 percent. Now, of course, unfortunately, this isn't the right tox effects that's the better cow excuse me but earthquake does 82 to 98 percent it wasn't plus defense nature um now what that means is after stealth rock and after a power punch if it switches in on stealth rock and a power punch under trick room earthquake knocks it out earthquake knocks it out um just to show you like that's one of the big hits that can do so uh carbon will hits incredibly hard uh these are your main forms of stab which is close combat ice hammer and power up punch and basically the gist of this set is get it in under trick room hit hard with close combat hit hard with ice hammer and then pick off stuff with power punch to boost your attack and then earthquake just to hit talk specs so this can also function on a choice band crabominable obviously you're going to be dropping the uh, power punch because choice band limits you to one move uh that you can be locked into 
at a time. So Close Combat, Ice Hammer, Earthquake are all there. And then Stone Edge allows you to hit Pokemon such as Golisopod, such as Arachnoid, some bug types. Um, Stone Edge also hits Pokemon like Jellicent pretty hard, hits Charizard. Um, knocked out Charizard, knocked out Talonflame. I um, mean, Ice Hammer is going to be doing a ton to those anyway. Like, they can't be, they're not going to be taking those well at all. But Stone Edge does give you that power to break through bugs types like Golisopod, like uh, Araquanid, just to name a, fruit, a few. Um, Hyper Cutter can be used on this because that does block Intimidate. Uh, so, Lander's Theory and Form, Arcanine. Um, specifically lander stereon form they're not going to be able to intimidate you and your ice hammer is going to do a ton your close combat is going to be doing a ton to lander stereon form let me actually show you uh, i believe it does 33 percent to 39 percent to the defensive lander stereon form this is the most offensive and uh, let's put hyper cutter and then let's just put choice span so if rocks are up and let's say it's running like a rocky helmet if rocks are up and it's running rocky helmet your close combat does 33-39. So let's say Rocks are up and it's running Rocky Helmet, which means it doesn't have leftovers, so it doesn't have any leftovers recovery. Close combat is a 3 at KO on that lander. So obviously Ice Hammer doesn't care about Intimidate, so it breaks through. Uh, also another Pokemon, such as Arcanine. Uh, let's say you, you Defensive. Close combat. Uh, Earthquake does 78 to 92%, so it knocks it out after uh, Rocks 100%. And then close combat does 70 to 83 three percent so intimidate is not stopping you due to hyper cutter that's why hyper cutter is definitely used on this over um over iron fist though iron fist does boost ice hammer to close combat's base power to 120 base power that's why i have that over uh, ice punch um which is another option by the way but uh, ice hammer i'm okay with risking that 10 percent chance to miss when i have that ridiculous damage going off for me so the cb trick rumor is more about and being a nuke hitting hard well this one still hits hard with the life orb and iron vis boost and also powers up punches with this set so but cb trick room is also another option and like i said stone edge is there uh, another option is also brutal swing i guess if you want to be able to hit a pokemon like jellicent uh but earthquake is gonna be doing a ton so stone edge to jellicent anyway next up we have the quote-unquote fast uh, CB or Life Orb set. On this set, you can run, like I said, Choice Band or Life Orb. Uh, those are both very viable options on this set. Um, the speed allows you to outspeed Skarmory, um, as well as Clefable, as well as Tyranitar, as well as Celesteela. Pokemon around that range, and you're just going adamant max attack just to maximize your attack. But uh, Close Combat, Ice Hammer, Earthquake, and Stone Edge is still the set. It's just a faster version of the Trick Room set that doesn't necessarily need Trick Room to function. It's still a pretty slow mon. Alternatively, you could run Jolly. You could definitely run Jolly on this. And what that allows you to do is outspeed Min Speed Heat Ran. So uh, Heat Ran is not running any speed. Uh, it also allows you to outspeed Mandibuzz and be able to knock them out with the Ice Hammer. Ice Hammer does a lot. Uh, you can run Iron Fist or um, Hyper Cut on this. I typically like Hyper Cutter better just because Intimidate Mons like Landorus that might try and pivot in on close combats aren't going to be liking the damage that you're doing since their Intimidate isn't going to work because of Hyper Cutter. But Jolly or Adamant is... Uh, the preferred set and i'll actually show you guys the damage right here um that just to show you a few walls that adamant hyper cutter uh, does damage to so obviously um arcanine doesn't appreciate that and we already showed you the lander's calculus 33 to 39 but let's say celestela let's say physically defensive celestela so that'd be max max not only do you outspeed that thing but close combat is a guaranteed to a KO after left orders recovery. Now, um, well, it's a, it's still guaranteed to a KO after left orders recovery. Uh, but just to show you what left orders. The close combat does 57 to 68 percent to physically defensive Celestilla. Uh, it can run protect as well. It usually does run protect. So if rocks are up, you will still be to a KOing it. Um, uh, outside of that, let's see. There's Pokemon like Skarmory, as I said. Oh, you defensive. You guarantee to a KO of that. And you are faster than that as well. It's a guaranteed 2 kill after left-throws recovery. If it's running Shed Shell, I mean, obviously no left-throws recovery. Ice Hammer hits hard. Um, and if you do run Iron Fist, that's why it's still an option. It still boosts Ice Hammer to close combat base power. Obviously, it is a 2 kill. It does have that chance to miss, and it does slow your speed down, though. So, I would run Hyper Cutter on the Choice Band set. But... Um, Iron Fist is still very, very, very viable. That's just a few bulky Pokemon. And obviously, Toxapex is going to be to a kill by the Choice Band Earthquake um 100 of the time so earthquake does 63 to 75 so you do to a ko even with a jolly nature you can still to a ko uh toxapex as well 58 to 69 so still guaranteed to a ko 
But the other options this Pokemon does have, that's pretty much it. Um, it does have the option of Crab Hammer, but why use Crab Hammer when you can use Stone Edge and Earthquake? And then Close Combat and Ice Hammer pretty much hits everything anyway. There's no real reason for Crab Hammer. Like Balloon Tran doesn't take Close Combat. You have Fighting Stab. Um, ice Punch is the option if you don't want to miss Ice Hammer, but it only is a 10% chance. And it's still stronger. It's way stronger than Ice Punch. And it's also still boosted by Iron Fist alongside Ice Punch. So it's stronger than that. Bulk Up is an option. However, Fighting and Ice... Uh, um, just being that typing doesn't provide a lot defensively at all. Just adding ice typing to you doesn't add anything offensively. It just adds a whole bunch of weaknesses. So I wouldn't necessarily use bulk up. But you can use like sub three attacks with a life or maybe. Um, I would use close combat, ice hammer, and earthquake. And that pretty much has like solid coverage in itself. And allows you to a kill a ton. But sub can definitely be used with a life or. Um, the other option, of course, is uh, Superpower, but generally Close Combat's better. Yeah, it does raise your, lower your defenses on both sides, but Superpower lowers your attack, so why would you want to use that? And then maybe like Brutal Swing, um, Brutal Swing with like a Z-move or Dark Z-move to be able to deal with what? Jealous and things like that. But typically, the set you're going to run is one of these. Uh, that's basically mainly what Crabano needs. But in any case, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Of course, I hope you learned something. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Twitter to stay up to date. Twitch to know when I'm streaming. I do stream very often during the week. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.